Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasal. This is Java Programming for Android 2017. I want to make a quick video about how to use an array list in Android. Okay, let's go to Android. So this is just from uh, our previous lesson. It's nothing new, just uh, a blank app. So, so here is where you, you want to write uh, the code. So array list is just like an array in Java, but it's for like um, traditional array just like you have a and then if it is integer you have to declare like that so if you have five elements you have to declare five so we start from zero one two three and four so this is the index but um, traditional array has a problem because the size here is fixed so uh, Java introduced uh, array list Remember, Android use uh, Java, so just uh, like standard Java library there. So array list here, you can declare it, and array like that, and integer, and then you can have like b new array list. Okay, but you can see this problem, the the red line here because the array can hold only the class type because in the java you have the traditional int for integer double but then you can have the integer with the full word and also start with the capital i it means it's a class uh, and in the java 6 then you have to write both sides here, integer and integer, but from Java 7 now, you can uh, delete this part, it's okay. So now B is uh, an array list of integer. So this one, you can put anything. Um, this is called generic type, okay. It means that you can place any data type you want. So now, if you say B and you want to add a um, you know, element, just add like that, and you find, okay, and six like that, okay. And the common method for that is sign, if you want to get the sign. So now the sign is two, right? So uh, one, two, and the index is zero. Here, zero. And here the index is 1, okay? The total sign is 2. And another method that you want to use is um, get. So now you want to get any element from which index, let's say uh, 0. So you would expect number 5. So let's do the log. Remember the log here, you will see the data in the Android monitor uh, at the bottom here and d see that the d there's a d here is for debug okay but then you have to give the the keyword to search here so just call main activity Okay. okay, now you can just type main activity over here. Okay, see that? So the index of 0 is 5 and the size is 2, like what we said. So we can uh, remove also if you want to remove. So you can remove index. So index number 0. Okay, and then you can do the log again for so that. And that's Test the sign again. Uh, 
Okay, let's see it. So the first before so first before we remove the index zero, the index zero is number five, okay? Here and the size is two, right? But then after we remove the number five here, so it will be strong. And then the six now become the index zero and no more index one, okay? So now the size is one and index zero is number six. Okay, that's how it works. And another common one is clear. If you want to clear all the, you know, the index here. And if you want to, um, let's just comment it. If you just do it, it's, you're going to clear all the data here. And another one is um, index off. Okay, so let's say you want to find something. So let's say I don't want to remove it, so let's command the code. Here is index of, okay. So index of 5, okay. So what is the index of 5? So it will find the first number of 5. Let's say you have two 5s, 5 and 5, let's say like that. So it will find the first one and it will give the, the position of the first 5. Okay. Okay, see that? So now you can find the index of five is zero. So even though you have two fives, uh, it will find only the first one. Okay, and the second one they cannot find. And then um, you can have another method called contain. So B contain. So contain here is try to find. It try to ask if the array here has which number or not. So let's say number five or not and uh, that is boolean so it's true so you're gonna give something so let's say you have another six and let's say yeah seven so let's try to find number seven yeah found seven okay okay now it, it found number seven so you see that so five six seven so it found that so if you want to test which um index of that so it's just called index of here so this is the common method that you will use as a beginner okay add uh, remove clear index of contains Remember, this is the, the class type. It means that you can hold any class, even though you define a class yourself. Let me change it to endpoint here. So you go to Java code here and right click on the package and new class. Let's say you have like um, customer. Okay, so let's say you have um, screen name of a customer and then maybe you want to hold a telephone number and then uh, you have a constructor. So if you are new to this kind of OOP thing, um, constructor is um, like a, a place to create a class. So you can have an option of uh, no parameter here or you can have a parameter here so if you want to keep the none comparer if you want to keep the none parameter contractor you have to declare that if you delete this you cannot have a new contractor with um, none parameters I mean like after that you can create let, let me delete this post first uh, let me uh, write down over here but I mean that if you have a uh, customer like that you can have customer 
and usually you put the uh, blank bracket like that right so if you you want to have a ability to call like this without any error you have to keep this this is the java code and if you have another constructor with two parameters here and if you delete this then you cannot call the customer without any uh, parameter it means that the default uh, constructor was deleted so usually if you want to have that just you know like do nothing like open the curly bracket and close it and here you can have um, you know define the name so here the this it means that this class will call a property name and then you will assign the name from the parameter here so it will assign to this so you read that name assigned to this dot name okay it's not this dot name equal because here is assigned not the uh, equal assign it's assign sign okay then uh, tell the same and for the setter and getter is void set name so then we have to give the name here Okay, I'm sorry here it's private and um, not pop. Name, name like that. And then a uh, string get name. Here is a blank one and then you return this dot name okay so here it's just like a storage to store the name here so you pass the data of name to this and then it will keep here and if you want to get it back you call the get name here. okay but then you have the standard set turn getter here so you can use the code to generate that so get turn setter for the tail screen here okay so the same that tell get tell here now you have a nice class